Hello guys and welcome to this video. Now this one is going to be quite different. Uh, first time I'm seeing the watch in this box and we are actually going to combine two watches to make one ultra limited edition for my friend Nick who has contacted me on Instagram and made this uh, request for this build. Uh, so I'm just going to introduce it by going over the two watches we're going to somewhat combine here. The first you, may, you will have seen before on my channel. This is the SRPE uh, 74K1. Uh, so this is the all gold uh, Seiko 5 Sports or 5KX. Um, the reason we are using this is for its case, its bracelet, its hands and a few other gold elements. And we've got another limited edition Seiko in this special box here, uh, which I'm gonna go over just quickly now and uh, I'll tell you how we're gonna combine it and then I'll show you the outcome at the end. Uh, we're also gonna fit this lovely double dome sapphire crystal um, and I'll explain how that's gonna work a bit later on as well. So you've seen this one before. So an interesting watch, all gold, a bit too much gold for me and I guess probably most of you guys as well, um, but uh, an interesting model. Uh, nonetheless, uh, solid, well not solid gold, a, uh, a full gold colour bracelet here uh, which matches the case perfectly and that's one of the reasons we went for this one actually because we did want to make a gold watch um, and use some of the gold elements from this. Now this is the SRPF 17K1. Now this is a limited edition of around 6,000 I believe and it comes in a special Seiko 5 box. <clears throat> now, much, much more, uh, much bigger than the typical kind of boxes that you get uh, most of the current lineup in. If we lift the lid, you have your paperwork, your warranty card, all the usual stuff. And then you have another box inside, which looks like that. Uh, now, inside the other, the rest there is just the instructions for that you get usually but this is starting to look a little bit special um i really i'm really surprised with the quality of these uh some of the more limited models of these watches and the naruto and street fighter collection come in boxes like this um also the brian may actually comes in a special box as well now this is from the street fighter collection and you can see that lovely Street Fighter logo, limited edition, on the inside there. Little foam pad. And this is the watch Nick wanted to modify. So, luckily enough, the local dealer here in the UAE had one of these. In fact, they have a few of them. Um, not just this model, but some of the other limited, limited ones, which are a little harder to find. Um, but because they're a little priced a little higher, I guess, you know, then they're, they're not as attractive to as many people. Now, this one in particular, I think is gonna work really cool uh, with those gold touches, which we're gonna get from that watch I showed you earlier. Now, just as a reminder, we're looking here at the SRPF 17K1. So it's got some special elements. So we'll start with the back actually. So this is the Chun-Li Street Fighter Edition. And you can see it's got this nice case back. It's actually covered a bit with the plastic there. And you've got some gold text and the Chun-Li, um, I guess they're symbols, logos, and the Street Fighter badge as well. And the back of this strap is also very special. This is a calf strap, so calf leather. And it's got these dragon patterns all the way through it. Really, really nice. Probably the, one of the nicest straps I've ever seen a Seiko come on, actually. So it's calf leather, it's not a real alligator. That would probably shoot the price up even more. Um, I think these are in the region of around 460, maybe $500 um, uh, at retail. Uh, perhaps some, some you might be able to find them for higher or lower than that on Chrono and other resellers, eBay and so on. Uh, nice clasp, standard Seiko signed clasp. But yeah, it feels definitely a bit more special than your average Seiko 5 Sport. Now this one you'll see is built for the um, Middle East market, so that's why it's got the Arabic day date. 
And let's have a look at that dial. In fact, let's me, let me move the hands out of the way a little bit. And zoom in there. So you've got this gorgeous sunburst dial. A really nice deep blue. It's kind of hard for me to show you this on camera, but this is probably the best angle to sort of show it off. Uh, now the bezel insert is, uh, I believe, the standard aluminium printed bezel insert, but it's got these kind of more like calligraphy Roman numerals going around. Uh, on the inside of the dial, they look almost like like diamonds, but they're actually, um, I guess, little, what do you call them? Like metal discs that have been faceted into these kind of shiny shapes. So from a distance, and especially in the light, you, they do sort of glimmer uh, for those hour markers like diamonds would. Um, you've got the automatic text, the standard Seiko 5 logo, standard silver, completely silver Seiko 5 hands. Day wheel, it's got a, a gold ring all around the dial and that's something I'm noticing they're doing with quite a few of these special editions. The chapter ring is kind of like a ladder that goes all the way around. And the rest of the watch is pretty much as you'd expect. So you've got a definitely a very special dial there, a different bezel insert, lovely strap. And on the back of the watch, you have the standard movement, but you have that limited case back as well. So the case and parts will be, and the size of course, will be the same as any others. Nice bezel action too, nice and tight. So what are we gonna do with this then? Well, what we're gonna do is combine two watches to make one very limited one. Um, the owner, or uh, well, the future owner, Nick, wanted to take this watch and add some more gold to it. So what we're actually gonna do is switch out the case and the bezel to the gold case and gold bezel here as well. We'll keep the insert off the blue one. We'll keep the dial, of course, from the blue one. Um, probably the chapter ring too. And we're gonna also change it to the gold hands. Now I think those gold hands are really gonna match that top centerpiece logo a little bit more, um, as well as the other gold elements. Um, the crown, of course, will also be the gold from the, uh, the SRP F17, uh, was it? 74, sorry, SRP E74, K1. This is the SRP F17. Um, and he wanted the option to have the gold bracelet as well. Uh, so that's why he's getting actually both straps in the end. So I'll be left with a few of the parts remaining from this watch, uh, which I'll probably end up using in another build, uh, but I'm happy to do that in that case, in this case, because I think this is gonna come out really cool. So the last thing as well, uh, the only actual modified part we're gonna use here is this double dome sapphire crystal, which should look really good, especially with a bit of blue AR coating, as you can see. In just the right light, you will get that little blue streak of light across the crystal, and I think it's gonna look really, really good. So keep watching and you'll see what it turns out as. So here she is, guys, the finished watch. Now, this looks lovely. It looks quite premium now with that lovely dome sapphire crystal. Um, and it has got a bit of blue AR as well, which almost makes the dial look a bit deeper sort of purple color. Um, and yeah, the best part of the watch is the dial for sure. Um, now the owner wanted this whole gold case theme to make it look a little bit like the, um, the yellow gold Submariner. That was the kind of inspiration, although this is very much Seiko style and also quite limited Seiko style here as well. Uh, with that unusual Seiko 5 dial, of course, that is definitely the star of the show. You'll see that with many of my watches, actually. I do try and focus on the dials uh, more than anything, uh, using original parts and combining them to make nice, new, unique pieces. Um, now, we managed to get that crystal to fit perfectly up against the stock bezel insert. I did suggest to the owner that we might switch a, um, to a ceramic at some point, but he's happy to try that himself perhaps later. Um, I'm not so sure about the insert myself. Um, I'd rather have the regular kind of dive style insert. I just find them more useful, but for the style of this watch, this definitely goes well. And it's another original part that we've kept. Um, now, yes, I've already showed you the dial, so I'm not gonna spend too long on that, but we've now got gold hands from the gold watch. So 
it was actually beneficial to get two watches to make this one because we wanted the original gold color uh, bracelet, which is otherwise quite hard to buy. Obviously you've got the movement and everything, the gold crown, the gold bezel, which we switched from the silver one on the original. Um, so I had to take that out. We've also got the uh, original chapter ring from the blue watch as well. And it's got that nice little bloom pip at 12. We've switched the hands from the gold watch. Um, and of course the case from the gold watch too. Uh, we decided to keep the Street Fighter uh, exhibition case back on it as well. So as a full gold watch, this looks pretty good, but let's see it on that blue strap from before, because that I thought was really special as well. So here she is on that blue leather strap, the original Seiko strap from the limited edition Street Fighter line. Uh, really cool, um, really high quality strap actually. Um, I'm sure this, this is, strap alone is worth probably a pretty penny. So um, well worth keeping it. I personally like it on this strap more because um, I think I just prefer the balance of blue around the watch and uh, it just matches up so well. Um, also, I guess with the 12 hour bezel, it's no, no longer so much of a dive watch. So yeah, a leather strap makes more sense as well. Um, just to show you on the inside, it's got all those lovely patterns and it does say Seiko and calf leather, I believe inside there's a size and yeah, just a lovely quality strap, nice and thick, quite, quite stiff as well, but this is going to wear into the owner's wrist uh, perfectly. Um, so that, that is probably my favorite iteration. I'm going to show you it on my seven and three quarter inch wrist right now, uh, just to give you an idea of how this watch wears. And I do have quite a big wrist. Now, one thing I wish um, I thought of actually before, but this is quite an easy thing to, to switch out. Unfortunately, I don't have a gold Seiko clasp to match the case. Um, I just don't have any at the moment, but it's quite easy to find a simple clasp uh, to switch and it will be quite an easy process just by putting some spring bar tool in there and, and taking it out. Um, so I, that's one thing I would change about this, this mod myself. Um, but otherwise, I've been really impressed with the quality um, of limited edition model. And let's just get that on. I'm going to keep it fairly loose still um, because it's not, uh, I don't want to wear in this bracelet or this strap just yet. But there you go, guys. That's on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Um, I feel like this watch wears bigger, possibly just because of the color and the crystal helps it sort of uh, grow a little bit on the wrist. You know, the camera does some tricks. It does look a little bit bigger uh, through the camera lens than it does in real life, but uh, it certainly suits me, I think. Um, the nice thick strap as well uh, just, just adds to that overall presence. And this bezel, lovely bezel action, nice and tight. And of course, aligned up. Now, if you're gonna do a watch build like this, exactly like this, one little suggestion, one little tip I'd give you is when you set your bezel, line it up to this one mark, right to that line, because that seems to be the easiest way to, to align it. Um, but yeah, thank you, Nick, for this order. I uh, loved working on this project. Um, had a chance to see this gorgeous watch in person and build it for you. Um, now, anyone else interested, you can catch me on at Seiko Mods Dubai on Instagram. Uh, for more watches, you'll see all my latest work on there as well. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.